this is just a bad dream. It's like this is not happening because like he wasn't sick like not hello youtube oh my goodness it's been a hot minute hasn't it right pretty yes so you guys it's been <laughs> forever since i um updated you guys and we called a video and it's been forever so the purpose of this video is to kind of give you guys um, kind of like an update um, pretty much like what I've been doing like a life update and all that good stuff so if <laughs> let me stop so if you're new to the channel, I probably don't have any new subbies or any new members because I haven't been active for so long. But anywho, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you happen to see this video and you're new, excuse my dog, she's making a lot of noise, um, subscribe and give me a thumbs up and be part of my youtube family so without a further ado let's get into this video so yes you guys um <clears throat> as you all know you haven't seen much of me unless you follow me on instagram which you should do that right now um i will put my insta name which my instagram and my and my YouTube name are the same, so you can, you know, go over on Instagram and follow me, because I kind of, I kind of post, you know, on my stories and then post more in there and all of that good stuff. So anyways, um, I good stuff, what 2021 has been doing to me. Oh, okay, it's a lot, okay? Um, so, as you all know that I am in school, so I'm still doing that. I will be graduating in May. Yay! I am super, super, super excited. Um, you know, I am the first generation of my family to graduate college and so I remember when I got my associate I was over the moon I was so excited and I am actually on a winter break right now and um, I'll be starting my internship in January um, which I am super super excited you guys you have no idea I'm excited and I'm ready to graduate and be done with school because I feel like I'm just getting older and <laughs> I know I'm not that old but I'm getting old you know what I mean so anywho uh, yes yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been up to just working yep you're gonna see this camera move quite a bit because my dog is literally right here um and yeah and you guys know that i didn't have dogs before so yes i have a puppy her name is freedom so she was born in um june 10th so june 19th for those of you who don't know it is uh, african-american 
Independence Day. So this is when all the slaves um, gained their independence. I think, I don't know all of my history. Don't quote me on that. And also, I'm Haitian, so I'm not African American. I don't know a whole lot about American history, spe specifically American history, you know. I know about my Haitian, my culture, all that. So just to throw that out there but anyways uh, so she was born on Juneteenth and I was coming up with names and blah 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 and I was like oh Coco because this is cute and, and my husband's like what about freedom and I was like you know what sure like why not especially he's not a big like dog person and I thought since He's letting me getting a dog and then um, it's kind of I guess honoring him by him naming my dog even though it's not his dog but anyways uh, she is a black lab she is super sweet super loving um, yeah you can see the camera is moving Freddy come here come say hi to the YouTube people come on oh, she's bumming her toy yep she's moving the camera like I said come on Come say hi. She's getting so big and she is only come on. Ooh. <laughs> She's only ooh, six months. I'm a seven month old. And she's getting so big already. Say hi. Can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hi? Oh you're giving me some kisses. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So anywho, that's that. Let me grab my phone. Huh. Yeah, so we got her actually in um, September because we were getting ready for a trip. Um, yeah, so we got her. She's been very sweet, very caring, very protective of me. Um, you know, uh, then uh, what else did we do 2021? yeah we went to puerto rico which was so fun i had a great time i wanted to record i wanted to you know capture everything but it was crazy i was also in school when i was there so i had to attend zoom um classes and I, homework all of that so i was like you know what let me just be in the moment and with everything that i already have going on that just a lot to do so i didn't really record but um i have a lot of pictures i will insert some pictures for you guys to see and like i said go on my insta you can you know you will see a few although my um insta my stories um is not up it's not up anymore i mean <laughs> my story is not still running obviously because you guys know it's only like 24 hours thing um but yeah i shared a lot of my story when i was over there which was super super fun i had my sisters my cousin and um uh and some other friends you know my sister and her husband and all that and it was so much fun i had a great time if I would go on another trip and I I would probably pick Puerto Rico like Puerto, it, it's so nice you know what it's it's so chill everybody's so sweet like people mind their own business like I it was amazing it was so so good um then after Puerto Rico then let's see well my sister got married that was before Puerto Rico but yeah she got married um which was really fun i was um oh no i wasn't her maid of honor because we like take turns between the three of us or whatever she was my maid of honor so i get to be my younger sister maid of honor but it was a lot of fun i was in the wedding so it was fun watching her getting married we we are all so um for my wedding I wanted my parents to come and obviously I got married during COVID that oh, you, we started helping them with you know the paper stuff and then boom COVID happened and 
then everything got shut down then they couldn't come so which was a bummer so they didn't come to my wedding and then when my sister got married you know i i gave a speech i was pretty emotional just because like um you know doing the the wedding like we have a lot of um our family in haiti and to me um you know like in haiti like when in our family people don't really get married so like it was such a like special um event and like special um thing in your life you know and her getting married not just that i got married and then now she's getting married it just feels like oh my goodness like i don't know it's just like we all breaking the uh generational <laughs> yeah cycle and so um i was emotional when i was giving her speech because i was like you know um my mom and dad they would be so proud of you because you know they were never married and i got married and now she's married and it's just like such a proud moment and i know they would have been very very happy to be there and i was also emotional because like um you know all out of all the people was at the wedding yes some family we are adopted so our adopted family and his family and and then i was like wow and i was like we have none of um like our biological family um there because um to me that would have been such a you know amazing thing for them to see and to experience and so that was kind of a bummer and then um in uh, july 3rd i received the worst the worst phone call ever i it was my uncle started calling me around like maybe three to like five no like around five ish and i was like you know what i am tired i have to get up at six i have to be up to go to work by 6 15 i would call him back i don't want to talk to him right now and then he just kept calling kept calling and then when i got up um to get ready for work and i got ready and then he called me again i was like oh my gosh and then i picked up the phone and he was like okay i'm about to give you some bad news like drink some water and um sit down and i was like just just tell me because you know and haiti people kind of they have all these things i'm gonna get a high blood pressure then maybe i might die so then i was like okay i'm okay i'm okay just just tell me and then he was like it's your dad and i was like what and then he was like yeah your dad passed away and i was like uh what and then i remember just like I, I i just froze on the phone like i was like in my head like you're lying like no like this is not happening you know because i always have dreams of like losing one of my parents freedom come here like losing one of my parents and thinking oh my gosh what am i gonna do and like you know like it's it's and so i remember i sat i sat down and i was like wow this is this is not happening like this is this is not happening and um my husband was like come here and then obviously i told him and then and i was like okay i'm just gonna go to work you know because it's like i was in shock but i i don't know like i wasn't believing what he had just told me and so you guys i i was like yeah i'm gonna go to work i'm gonna go to work or whatever um then i remember i just laid in bed and then like i was just i just started crying and i was like what like like what like it was it was so weird because you guys this was on june 
this was on june 3rd we were at the beach and i remember um we were talk i was talking to him on the phone and i took a picture of me and my husband and then my sister and her husband and i sent that picture to him and um and then when he passed away I went on my phone to look to I still I still have his name on my phone the same way I have not I'll show you I have not changed his name even though my cousin is the one who have his phone but anyways I remember I grabbed my phone and I was just looking at the messages and this was the last picture and he was online around like two or three or so when he saw this picture and I was like wow and then my husband was like you know maybe this was the last time um, him revisiting this picture knowing how proud he is um, of you guys you guys like I I just kept thinking like this is just a bad dreams like this is not happening because like he wasn't sick like nothing was wrong like why would he just go to bed and and so then obviously called my other sister and told her and um then I talked to my grandma who's in Haiti um then she told me the whole story she was like yeah he was fine like nothing was wrong we um he cooked um the night before so my dad and my grandma are very very close so they were very close and so and she was she told me yeah he cooked and gave me a bowl and we both ate and they have a business together and so and then um she said you know it was late at night and then he said okay um old lady you better go home so then my grandma left and went home and then he closes closed the business and went home and um he went home and i heard his he got a girlfriend apparently and that which somebody that was you know pretty much was on the street and took her in and you know he has a house had a house and so was giving her a place to stay and apparently he happened to like her and she likes him so um and he was thinking about marrying her because like i said my dad was never married and um so he went home got home took a shower and went to bed and i talked to the the girlfriend the day the day after and she told me she said yeah he went to bed laid in bed and then around midnight or so he like boop, got up and sat up and he was like he said something like he had a really really bad headache like he felt like his head was gonna explode and um and then he was really hot too and so the lady started you know fanning him and because he was like he was telling her fan give me some i need some air i need some air and so she started fanning him and fanning him and then obviously like they wouldn't think of like oh let's go to the emergency room like where he lives it's kind of in the middle of nowhere and there was not a hospital nearby there was like a clinic but there was no hospital 
And so, um, she said, then he lay back down and then, um, then maybe an hour after or so, then he started telling her, he was like, okay, in the morning, have my mom give you some money so you can take a Uber to go home. And then she was like, why are you talking like that? Don't say that. Like she started to, you know, get scared. Like, you know, why? Because she lives with him. And so, and then she kept like fanning him and fanning him. And then I think he lays back down. And then she said that she, he, she thought that he fall asleep until she like tried to wake him up and he wasn't waking up and then she asked so one of my cousin's ex-boyfriend was living with my dad as well so she asked him to go get my grandma who lives like 30 minutes away just by walking in the middle of the night and by the time my grandma came was gonna give him some they do some stupid crap in Haiti with <laughs> she was gonna give him some um what do you call it some uh it's lie I can't think of the word to have him to swallow whatever and obviously by the time she got there she picked him up he was gone and then she just kept yelling and yelling and she was like no this is not happening you know and this was so so sad not only the fact that he died and then two days after um they assassinated the president of haiti and with everything in me, I wanted to go. I wanted to go to Haiti. I wanted to go to the funeral. I wanted to see my dad for one last time because the last time I saw him, it was in 2017. And so we were planning the paperwork his passport was just finished we were gonna bring him here because i knew that you know haiti is the way haiti is is not a great place to be and so um i was i was just devastated i was like like what and so um i wanted to go to the funeral so so bad i just i just wanted to see his face even though it would be in a casket i wanted to see his face one more time i wanted to just cry and just you know with everything in me just to be like okay to be with and to be with my family in Haiti too, especially my grandma, because it was just him and my grandma. Because there were some of my uncle and aunts, they all different places. <clears throat> They're not in Haiti, and so my dad was my grandma's right hand. Like my grandma's sick, it's him. My grandma needs this, it's him, and so my grandma was a mess and i i didn't know what to say i didn't know what to do but i just wanted to i just wanted to go to haiti i was like you know i i want to be there i want to be with my family i want to cry with them and hold them and and i want to walk my dad to the cemetery for one last time and hold his hands and do all of this but stupid idiots colombians and haitians that went and killed the president and the country turned upside down and i i asked my grandma and i said i want to go to the funeral and then i asked to my talk to my uncles the one that are um in paris and then in brazil i talked to them and i said 
you know i'm thinking about going to the funeral and they were like you know i strongly advise you not to go this is not your dad will want um because we are not gonna try to come you know you can get kidnapped you can get killed and just um and uh, and then i talked to someone else um who was in haiti um just you know a few months prior and then so i talked to her and then she told me no and i was i was a mess i was devastated i wanted to i wanted to be there and and so and the worst thing is that you know my dad wasn't sick there was nothing wrong with him he um but apparently i heard that he has had um high blood pressure in the past and so they think I don't know maybe I talked to my doctor I kind of explained it to him to see if he um, you know just to take a guess and he told me that he thinks that my dad probably had a heart attack and so that could have been you know what killed him who knows because he was a healthy man like I talked to my mom and I remember I, I told my mom I said I honestly thought you would die before my dad because you were the one that's always sick, I was in at the hospital, I was, you know, something's wrong. And um here was my dad, like nothing's wrong with him, healthy man and on his feet working and just like that. And you guys I remember thinking, God, like why like why me like why my dad like like what did i do to deserve this like all the plan i had all the and i said if it wasn't for my dad i wouldn't be where i am today and you know i wanted him to come to the u.s one day i wanted him to come and experience the life that he gave us and i wanted him to come here to be able to have access to anything that he wanted i wanted him to hold my grandkids one day i wanted him to be a grandpa i wanted him to leave a stress a stress-free life and and i was like I'm only 25 and you know I don't have a dad and my younger sister and I felt horrible because you know I know that my dad didn't get to walk me down the aisle for my wedding and all of that and my younger sister she was so excited you know she's gonna get married one day and my dad's gonna be there my mom's gonna be there and it's, it's and it will be just amazing and we all never never thought of something like that would ever happen like you know i thought my dad would live to like make it to maybe 90s or 100s you know because he was a healthy man and so it was just it was a it was so shocking because i know for a few days and weeks and i kept thinking no this is this is just a dream this is just a dream this is not happening this is not real this is this isn't real because i'm like i talked to my dad not too long ago and he was fine and but only to realize that yep yeah, this is my new reality and i was angry i was upset i wanted answer i was angry with God and because I just kept questioning I was like if only I was in Haiti if only I knew he was you know dealing with the high blood pressure or this I could have sent him money oh God why didn't you give him like 
cancer or anything like like a disease where I know that he is sick and then so that way I have time then I can prepare to go to Haiti and to be with him for those days and and even try to get all the paperwork to go even faster so I could get him here and I have all of these you know like what if what ifs what ifs in my head and I started to like not trusting God and and started to blame him for letting this happen because I know God is in control I know God could have stopped it I know there is nothing that's impossible for him and I just kept thinking like why me like why did you let this happen to me why 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 and but through everything my husband was um just the greatest he he you know helped me get out of bed he helps me um by just sharing stories and because i remember one night i was just thinking of about my dad and i just started crying i started crying and i didn't even want to talk to him and he was just like what why are you crying and in my head i was like seriously like what the fuck like why are you you really asking me why am I crying my dad just died or whatever and then I was like you know I was just thinking about my dad and I was just thinking of this memory of him or you know something that he did where he was so help um, selfless and I was I was just thinking of that memory in my head and I just started crying and then he was just you know hugs me and then he was like you know um then he shared stories of because he also went through a lot in his life and lost a lot of people a lot of family members in his life and so and he said you know um i know that um those memories or you never gonna talk to your dad and not gonna hear him anymore but you know this is what I went through when my grandpa died and you know just the little things or something that someone could say and that would you know kind of in a way it's like it's like your dad speaking through that person to like talk to you or like just the little things and I remember that gave me so much comfort but yeah so 2021 was not the greatest year of my life um but i learned a lot and since then um we've been working on the paperwork now to get my mom out of haiti because i could not i could not risk losing my mom too now because just one is enough it's it's horrible it's yeah i still think of my dad every day i still think of you know his contagious laugh that he had and um so now it makes me uh, more motivated to get um work on those paperwork and and to get my mom here um yeah and i know my dad will be so proud of me now that um i'm graduating college and he'll be so proud of me um and you know and my husband like i said you know he was my support system he was that person that I wake up to every morning he's the person you know that encouraged me to get out of bed that you know just um, letting me know that it's gonna be okay and that I can cry whenever I want to and then now the military took him to deployment and then that's when I'm like could this year be any better after losing my dad and him 
you know that's been there for me and with me through everything and then now he's gonna be gone so yeah so it's been such a hard year but i'm getting through it um 2021 is almost over and um i'm excited for 2022 as um a lot of exciting things will be happening in 2022 you know i'm graduating and then my husband will be coming home from deployment and yeah so um and that was why to getting my dog so that way you know because she's been amazing because there was one day I got home and I just cried and she just jumped on the couch and then she started licking my face and then you know and snuggle with me and you know that kind of made my whole mood change my mood in a way and and I'm so glad that I I have her because she is so sweet so um anyways so i should probably go let freedom inside so anywho thank you you guys for watching or for taking your time um to watch this video if you um like <laughs> what i talked about i guess give it a thumbs up and now I feel like I'm probably gonna go cry myself to sleep maybe since now I've talked about all of these things and build up all of these emotion inside of me so um happy new year I hope that you guys are having I hope the new year brings you um uh, good health um lots of success in your life and lots of wins and hopefully this covid 19 will go away by then um stay healthy stay, stay blessed and um until then happy new year and i will see you guys on my next video bye